I haven't, dear. You know something? Sam's been jumping like crazy. <laughs> Dennis Mitchell. I'm sorry. Boy, you really did it this time, Sam. What did you do now? Dennis, what have you been told about keeping that frog in the house? Dad, Sam was just practicing jumping inside today on account of the grass was wet. You wouldn't want good old Sam to catch pneumonia. Dennis. Or even rheumatism like Grandma gets. Young man, if I catch that frog in this house once more, Sam will not be in the frog jumping contest tomorrow afternoon. Now, is that clear? Sure, Dad. But what if it rains some more outside? I'll loan Sam my umbrella. <laughs> rheumatism like Grandma gets. That child. Henry, when you were a little boy, did you try to sneak frogs into the house? Of course not, Alice. I went in for lizards. <laughs> <laughs> And to top off the festivities, 28 of the hoppingest frogs in captivity will compete for the gold cup in the Mark Twain frog jumping contest. <laughs> I ask you, how ridiculous can the human race get? Yes, George. Hi, Mr. Wilson. Oh, hello, Dennis. I just want to talk to you about Sam. <laughs> oh, Dennis. Jeepers, I'm sorry. But Sam won't hurt you, would you, Sam? Well, just, just get that, that beast out of here. Sam's not a beast, Mr. Wilson. Dad says Sam's a reptile. Well, I don't care if Sam is Prince Charming in disguise. Now, just take your slimy little friend and depart. Mr. Wilson, will you be partners with me and Sam in the frog jumping contest? <laughs> I stopped jumping years ago, Dennis. Oh, Sam will do all the jumping. All we gotta do is keep her happy and jumping her best. We found out Sam's a girl, you know. Now, what has that got to do with anything? Well, I'll show you. Two, four, six, eight, <laughs> ten, eleven. Good old Sam jumps over eleven feet without even trying. Dennis, I wouldn't be impressed if... Good old Sam jumped 38 feet, one and a half inches, with one foot tied behind her back and wearing high heels. <laughs> oh, why, Sergeant Mooney, what are you Hello, doing? Hello, George. I guess you know why I'm here. Well, no, I haven't Here's done Here's your ticket. Ticket? Now, look here, Mooney, I haven't... Tickets to the annual policeman's ball. <laughs> oh, those tickets. Well, good grief. How many of those annual affairs do you fellas have a year? Oh, come now, George. You know we only have one annual policeman's ball every six months. <laughs> Hi, Sergeant Moody. Have you met Sam yet? She's going to win the frog jumping contest tomorrow. Oh, now, Dennis, I don't want to disillusion you, but my frog, Marilyn, has the cup practically won. Mooney, don't tell me you're entering a frog in that silly contest. I certainly am. And you know how far Marilyn can jump? <laughs> ten feet six inches. The idea of a grown man. Wait a minute, did you say ten feet six inches? Well, jeepers, Sergeant Mooney. Sam can jump. Uh, uh, Dennis, uh, <laughs> come in, Mooney. <laughs> You know, it just so happens that Dennis and I have a frog who isn't too bad at jumping herself. Jeepers, Mr. Wilson. You mean you're going to be my partner after all? I do, Dennis. Oh, boy! And you think that frog can beat my Marilyn, huh? Well, sure she will. Why, Sam can jump. Would you like to make a small, friendly wager, Mooney? Shall we say five dollars? Shall we say ten dollars? But, Mr. Wilson... Please, Dennis, we're talking. I'll gladly make it fifteen. Twenty. Twenty-five. Now, wait. You're betting me twenty-five dollars that your frog will outjump our frog tomorrow. Indeed I am, my chubby little friend. It's a wager. 
Oh, George, there's one thing that bothers me. Oh, uh, what's that? Your $25 is just liable to put me in a higher income tax bracket. <laughs> <laughs> Well. Come on, Mr. Wilson. We gotta get Sam's morning practice in. I'll be right out, Dennis. Oh, Mr. Wilson, bring the tape measure, and I'll go get the rubbing alcohol, and we'll meet at my place. All right, Dennis. George, don't you think $25 is a little high for a friendly wager? Well, yes, it is, Martha, dear, except for one thing. I can't lose. <laughs> Eleven feet, eight inches. Sam, that's the best you've done yet. Dennis, remember what I told you about Sam being out of the contest if she gets in the house again. Okay, Dad. Out of the contest? Oh, Mitchell, you wouldn't think of doing a thing like that, would you? Well, I'm afraid I'd have to, Mr. Wilson. Both Sam and Dennis have been warned several times already. <clears throat> well, <laughs> let's let Sam have a rest, Dennis. We don't want to get that marvelous little jumping machine overtrained. Okay, Mr. Wilson. I'll give Sam a rub down and let her have her morning nap. Eleven feet eight inches. <laughs> oh, I can't wait to see the expression on Mooney's face tomorrow when Sam goes soaring into the wild blue yonder. I've been thinking, Mr. Wilson. How about you and me and Sam getting sweatshirts to wear with Sam's name stenciled on the back? Well, Dennis, I somehow doubt that we could find a sweatshirt small enough for Sam. Well, then maybe we could take a little white sock and... <laughs> <laughs> Sam, come back here! I better get Sam before Mom and Dad see her. Why, certainly. We don't want anything to happen now that we're this close to victory, Dennis. Oh, here's Sam's box. Now you find her and keep her in it. Okay, Mr. Wilson. But if you hear a loud scream, we're in trouble. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Wilson? This is Dennis. I can't find Sam anywhere. Oh, now, Dennis. Sam must be around that house somewhere. I know, but I can't look good because Mom and Dad are hanging around. And if they catch Sam in the house again, Neither of us will be allowed to be in the contest tomorrow. All right, Dennis. You sit tight. I'll be right over. Oh, Martha! Yes, dear? Martha, we've got to get over to the Mitchells right away. Oh, dear, is something wrong? Well, you can say that again. I've got to help Dennis find his frog before Alice or Mitchell do, or we're out of that contest tomorrow. Oh, George, wait a second. We can't go bursting in on the Mitchells. Now it's lunchtime. Do you want to see Mooney win my $25 by forfeit? But why in heaven's name must I go with you? Well, because it'll look less suspicious that way. While they're talking to you, I can look around. George, I refuse. <laughs> well, those people are probably eating lunch this very minute. All right, Martha, all right. I just hope you'll be able to live with your conscience if they end up having frog legs for dinner. <laughs> Wash your hands, dear. Lunch is almost ready. Okay, Mom. Henry, would you get the front door, please? Sure, honey. <laughs> Why, Mr. and Mrs. Wilson, <laughs> this is a surprise. Hello, Mitchell. <laughs> well, come on in. Thank you. Thank you, Mitchell. We can always stay a minute, Henry. Uh, won't you sit down? Uh, oh, yes. <laughs> Thanks, Mitchell. Uh, I'll go get Alice. Oh. <laughs> here's Sam. <laughs> Sam, Mr. Oh, Wilson, I've never been so embarrassed in my whole life. Martha, why don't you go out and look in the kitchen? I do no such thing. <laughs> Henry, I can't. I only have enough tuna fish for the three of us. Oh, well, can't you add some water to it or something? Oh, <laughs> you. <laughs> Here, Sam. <laughs> Did you find her yet, Dennis? No, but I found an ice skate that I thought I lost. Oh, fine. Well, you keep looking up there. I'll look down here. Okay. Mr. Wilson, 
Don't bother with the closet. The door was shut. Here, Sam. Here, Sam. Mr. Wilson. Uh, oh, hello, Alice. I was just admiring your new drapes. New? Uh, oh, Mrs. Wilson, how nice. Hello, Alice. Well, Martha and I just thought we'd drop over and say hello, didn't we, Martha? Well, what a pleasant surprise. You are staying to lunch, of course. Thank you, Alice. We just ate. Oh, uh, yes, we did. Oh, you did? What a shame. Well, yes, we're loaded with tuna fish. <laughs> Will you excuse me? I have to go into the kitchen a moment. Martha, why don't you go into the kitchen with Alice and keep her company? That's a lovely idea. Come ahead, Mrs. Wilson. Well, how's uh, Sam's jumping coming along? Uh, oh, <laughs> Sam. <laughs> uh, just fine. <laughs> Those cushions were so nice and soft. They're not uh, oh, I almost forgot. Uh, I wonder if I could borrow that pipe wrench you keep out in the garage, huh? Well, sure, I'll go get it. Uh, oh, fine, Mitchell. Here, <laughs> Sam. Sam! Sam! Here, Sam. <laughs> Here, Sam. Sam. Here, Sam. 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 <laughs> Sam. Come out from under there, Sam. 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 Please, Sam. <laughs> Mr. Wilson, what on earth? Oh, oh, Mitchell, uh, I, uh, oh, I was just doing a, a push-up or two, you know. Like that. Yeah. <laughs> Keeps my good figure, you know. <laughs> well, here it is. Oh, thank you, Mitchell, thank you. <sighs> my, this is a fine one, isn't it? <laughs> Pipes <laughs> and frog sounds. But you're certainly getting good at it. Yes, I am, aren't I? <laughs> uh. <laughs> oh, Mitchell, uh, uh, that isn't an ink stain on the rug, is it? An ink spot? Where? Right over there. Well, I don't see any ink spot. Well, I must be running <laughs> along. That's so funny, Mr. Wilson. Oh, I uh, there's something tickled me. I mean, I remembered a joke I just heard. Tell Martha I'll see her. Oh. <laughs> Sam, stop! Oh, uh, Mr. Wilson. Oh, oh yes, Mitchell. I'm certainly glad that you found the frog before Alice and I did. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, for Pete's sake. <laughs> Eight feet, two and a half inches. Well, what's wrong with you, Sam? <laughs> Aren't you feeling good, Sam? Maybe she started jumping too soon after eating. <laughs> oh, this is no laughing matter, Mitchell. Why, this morning she was making 11 feet every time. Now she can't even jump 8-6. I think good old Sam's sick. She didn't even eat that last book I gave her. Are you sick, Sam? <laughs> yep, she's sick all right. Well, we better do something and fast. When did she have her last complete physical? <laughs> That's it. We'll take Sam to Mr. Wiggins, the veterinarian. Now, Wiggins is out of town, Dennis. Then we'll take you to good old Dr. Johnson. He can make anybody well. I'm afraid Dr. Johnson only administers to people, Dennis. Well, that's all right. 
Sam doesn't mind going to a people doctor, do you, Sam? You see? Come on, Mr. Wilson. I'll go get her box. Oh, good grief. There must be an easier way to make $25, Mitchell. <laughs> now then, which one is sick and which one came along for the ride? Oh, we're not sick, Dr. Johnson. Well, we got a sick friend here. Dennis, who... please, now just let me do this. Sick friend? Well, why didn't you say so? I'll oh, get my bag. Well, you see, Doc, uh, we, we brought the friend with us. You did? It's our fraud. Sam! Dennis, please. Uh, now, you see, Doc, it's your what? It's our fraud. Sam! George Wilson, <laughs> this is your idea of a joke. Oh, this is no joke, Dr. Johnson. Sam's sick. And the jumping contest is tomorrow. And we had no one else we could turn to, Doc. Now listen here, George. Please, Dr. Johnson. How'd you like to be a sick frog? At times, I'd prefer it to being a well doctor. Now, I'm very sorry. But... You mean you're turning us down, Doc? George Wilson, I did not go through four years of medical school and two years of interning and 20 odd years of general practice to administer medicine to a sick frog. Come along, Sam. Thank you, Doctor. Now, George, what do I know about frogs? Gosh, Dr. Johnson, I thought an honest-to-goodness doctor could help anything that was sick. Bring him over here, Dennis. Cheapers, thanks, Dr. Johnson. Thank you, Doc. <sighs> All right, say, uh, what am I saying? <laughs> say, uh, Sam. <laughs> Is that good enough? Oh, that's Jim Dandy Dennis. Hmm. Aren't you going to listen to Sam's chest? Dennis, please. No, George, Dennis has a point. His heart's as steady as my watch. All right, turn them over and let's take a look at the rest of them. Hmm. Aren't you going to tap Sam's knee with a little hammer? His reflexes seem just fine, Dennis. Why break his leg? <laughs> I don't know. He seems all right. Well, what do we do now, Doc? Well, if he had a health insurance, I could throw him into the hospital for a thorough examination. Here, I'll uh, give him a shot of B12, George, and that's about the best I can do. Will it hurt, Doctor? Oh, of course not, Dennis. Well, look, Sam. You know, you two, I've been thinking now, I'm not much of an authority on frogs, but it is getting close to spring. Maybe Sam would feel a lot better if he had a real nice girlfriend. But cheapers, Dr. Johnson, Sam is a girl. Yes. Where's our hair ribbon? Doc, are you saying that all this creature needs is a little companionship and she'll jump like her old self again? Well, spring is in the air. Come on, Mr. Wilson. I know a muddy swamp where I bet you there are loads of boy frogs. Oh, joy. <laughs> How are you, Mr. Wilson? How am I? Mitchell, do you know that I was wading in McCutcheon's Creek until 3 o'clock this morning, catching these confounded frogs, and now... Uh, uh, God bless you. Thank you, Mitchell. And now that silly frog of Dennis's won't even look at them. And you just know that one of these frogs must be a boy. Hey, Mr. Wilson! Look! Oh, goody, another frog. I borrowed him from a friend of Tommy's, and he says this is a boy frog for sure. Here's another little friend for you, Sam. <laughs> Sam? Well, look at that, will you? All she does is sit with her nose in the corner. I guess Sam wants to pick out her own boyfriend, Mr. Wilson. Seems Sam is a girl with a mind of her own. 
Oh, I can just hear Mooney laughing like a jackass when he counts my $25. Mr. Wilson, it's only two hours till the contest. We gotta do something. Well, what do you suggest, Dennis? Maybe Dr. Johnson will give Sam some more B12. All right, Dennis, call him up. Oh, and Dennis. Yes? Have the doctor send an extra shot of B12 for me. <laughs> and now, for the grand finals of our annual Mark Twain Frog Jumping Contest. The winners of the semifinal heats were, on my right, Marilyn, trained by police sergeant Ralph Mooney, with a best jump today of 10 feet, 8 inches. On my left, Sam, trained by Dennis Mitchell and George Wilson, with a best jump today of eight feet, seven inches. Oh, dear, I'm afraid Sam doesn't stand much of a chance. I can't understand it. The silly creature has enough B-12 in her to go to the moon. Get ready, please. Gentlemen and frogs, are you ready? Sam's ready! Hey, you know, George, I've been thinking, just to make it a little more fair, maybe I ought to make Marilyn jump backwards. Funny. <laughs> <laughs> Quiet, please. All right, Sam, Marilyn, or vice versa. Get on your mark, get set, and may the best frog win. Jump, Sam! Go, Marilyn, go! Jump, Sam, jump! Go, Marilyn, go! Go, Marilyn, go! <laughs> Marilyn, that's the enemy. Mr. Wilson, they like each other. Oh, for Pete's sake. My B-12. <laughs> Eleven feet, nine and one half inches. Jump, Marilyn, jump! <laughs> Marilyn! <laughs> I'm afraid, Sergeant Mooney, your time is almost up. Oh, Marilyn, come Five, on, Marilyn! Four, three, Marilyn. two, the winner and new champion, Sam. Friends, friends, ladies and gentlemen, refreshments will be served at the picnic grounds. Oh, God. <laughs> Sam sure did it, didn't she, Dad? She sure did, son. Set. Set. Jeepers, <laughs> law! It looks like love at first sight. <laughs> Well, if they think I'm going to support the both of them, they're crazy. Judge Mooney, since Sam's a girl, your frog Marilyn must be a boy. That's right, Dennis. That's why Sam got so excited and jumped so far. Yeah, stabbed in the back by my own frog. Well, Mooney. All right. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, and I hope I have the pleasure of giving you your next parking ticket. <laughs> well, Dennis, for your college fund. Jeepers, thanks, Mr. Wilson. Frog jumping sure pays. It certainly does, Dennis. <laughs> Why not just a darn minute, Doc? You took all the rest of Mr. Wilson's money. That's right. Those B-12 shots come high, George. <laughs> oh, good grief.
This has been a Screen Gems film production from the Hollywood studios of Columbia Pictures.